hello students today we are going to see inversion and eversion of the foot the inversion and eversion are the rotational movements of the foot on the talus as shown in this video inversion is a movement in which the medial border of the foot is raised so that the sole faces medially as shown in this photograph eversion is a movement in which the lateral border of the foot is raised so that the sole faces laterally as shown in this photograph eversion is just opposite to that of inversion now we'll see the joints taking part in eversion and inversion they are divided into two groups main joints and accessory joints main joints include subtalar joint and talo calcaneo navicular joint while accessory joint includes transverse tarsal or mid tarsal joint we'll see in next slide in this slide showing the subtalar joint and talo calcaneo navicular joint the red circle shows these joints and uh, the subtalar joint is present uh, in between talar and uh, talus and calcaneum bone just below the talus talo calcaneo navicular joint is among talus calcaneum and navicular bone as shown in this animation in this photograph red line shows transverse tarsal joint it is a compound joint consisting of calcaneo cuboid and talo navicular joints now the axis of movements axis of movements is nothing but the axis around which this uh, inversion and eversion takes place this is oblique axis which runs forwards upwards and medially passing from the back of calcaneum through sinus tarsi to emerge at the superior medial aspect of neck of talus as shown by the red dotted line in this photograph we can see sinus tarsi it is nothing but a space in between talus and calcaneum bone now the range of these movements the range of inversion is more than that of eversion in case of inversion it is 30 degree while in case of eversion it is 20 degree range of these movements increases in plantar flexion of foot now the muscles responsible for these movements inversion is mainly done by tibialis anterior and tibialis posterior and aided by or helped by uh, the accessory muscles which are uh, 
uh, flexor hallucis longus and flexor digitorum longus in case of eversion the principal muscle is peroneus longus and peroneus brevis and accessory muscle is peroneus tertius In this video we can see the main muscles and accessory muscles of inversion and eversion Now the functional significance of these movements these movements are necessary for walking on uneven and sloping ground as shown in this figure When feet are supporting the body weight these movements occur in a modified form called as supination and pronation of the foot there are some differences between movements of inversion and eversion when foot is on the ground and foot is off the ground just read it once